Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. So the kids are home. What are you going to do with them today? I have a great idea. This is just a quick, easy, fun dessert, perfect summer dessert. And it's something that my great-grandmother, who lived with us when we were kids, used to make for us all the time. It's a recipe I haven't ha made for years, so it kind of just takes me back. Real simple, really easy. Anybody can do it, and it's just a, just a few ingredients. So we're going to start with one pint, one of the little guys of vanilla ice cream that you've let soften in the counter. You can even throw it in the microwave for just uh, 20 seconds or so, or two cups of ice cream that you let thaw a little bit. And then we've got one small box of instant, make sure it's instant, chocolate pudding and pie filling. Now my grandmother used to change it up, so if you're not a big fan, this makes a chocolate one, which is my favorite as a kid, but sometimes we do butterscotch, you can do pistachio, so it's up to you what kind of flavor of instant pudding you want to use. It'll all work here. And then we've just got half cup of milk. That's it. Just mix it together. You can do it by hand or just use a mixer quick. The only problem with this dessert is the kids are going to want to eat it right away. But it needs to really set up in the fridge for at least four hours. So do it this morning, and by this afternoon, it's going to be all ready to roll, and the kids are going to love you. All right, that easy. Now it goes into a pre-made pie crust, um, I guess four ingredients. And this is just, um, this happens to be a chocolate crust, but you could just use regular graham cracker crust. This does not need to bake at all. At this point, cover it up. Into the refrigerator it goes. Again, for about four to six hours, and it'll just set up perfectly. So we've got one already done. And this is optional. My grandmother just to serve it just like that, and trust me, we were happy kids. But if you want to decorate it a little bit, see how it just sets up nicely? And if you do want to hurry it along, you could throw it in the freezer for maybe an hour or so. But it's just creamy, wonderful, easy, and delicious. And then you can garnish with a little bit of whipped topping if you want. And if you really want to be fancy, you could throw on some chocolate shavings too. And while I'm decorating this up, I want to remind everybody that we have a really fun event coming up and you're invited. Need a night out? Grab the girlfriends or your special someone or a group of friends and join us Tuesday August 31st, it's our big night out, gourmet dinner at Dockers by the Bay, several courses. We're going to have steak and lobster and wine and stuffed mushrooms, a wonderful salad. I could keep going and going. It's just going to be a really fun night. So call today for reservations. It's booking up pretty quickly. So here's my chocolate pie, just a little chocolate shavings on top. And trust me, whoops, I'll have to eat that piece. Everyone loves this dessert. The recipe's on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. Make sure and watch my show today, Living with Amy. We've got a whole bunch of fun ideas for a summer birthday party, from a big batch of sloppy joes to some really fun treats that the kids will love. So we'll see you at Living with Amy, 9 o'clock, right after Good Day Wisconsin. Rachel and Doug will be right back, so stay with us.